Hey, y'all. We're off on another adventure. Off on another adventure. <laughs> We're at a la carte. We are. A la carte. There are five food trucks here and then on tap, lots of lots of stuff on tap, probably about 20, 15 or 20 things on tap. We got a spicy deluxe chicken sandwich and some fries and it was $17. Ooh, it's big. So let's see how good it is. So there's a chicken truck, there's a Mediterranean, a pizza pie. Fries are good. Um, Ooh, look at that sandwich. Coke. Ooh, that looks good. Look at this. I'm going to take the first bite. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> we got some, I'm assuming it's ranch. It's good. Kind of napkin. That's a really good sandwich. You're going to love it. Really good. Fries and ranch. Fresh fries. Always good. Mm. Very good. Very good. All right. Yeah, that ranch sauce looks pretty good too. It is. And it's a potato bun. What do you think? Very good. It's really good. Very, very good. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. So we just got done at a la carte. Um, it is a at like an ale house and then it's got food street trucks. food and brewery yeah it was really it was, it was really good um the design is amazing it's beautiful the the i love all the that's small seating small options quaint. yeah it's really it's really nice all the seating options were amazing they they have the garage doors that come up on both sides it can come up on both sides so it's open air and then of course you got the food court and then they've got um, chairs and umbrellas out there, as you guys can see in the video. Um, the food was amazing. We ended up with the chicken truck. We can't pass up a spicy chicken sandwich. Right. It was delicious. It's like tacos. You can't pass up tacos. Oh, my gosh. It was really good. But we just got one and shared it because Log Home Daddy's got a new, another place for us to go after this. Um, what else? Was there something else I was going to say? Uh, it was artificial grass in the back with all the seating. Um, there wasn't any games. No, there should be games. There, that would have been a really nice touch, especially there was a lot of kids there. Yeah, um, it'd be nice to have little, you know, the big tic tac toe yeah. or the. Um, there was what five food trucks. Five food trucks. Um, now, when you saw in the beginning, we said the milk district. You want to tell them why this is? This is <laughs> Lockham Daddy's old so stomping I, ground. <laughs> so I grew up on Washington Street, not too far from here. So I've ridden my bicycle by here thousands of what times. What street are we on, by the way? Uh. I don't even Do you know even which know? Street this oh, okay. Is. Um, but uh, we're right off of Colonial Drive between Primrose and Crystal Lake. This is one of the side streets, and I don't remember the name. But um, uh, they call this the Milk District because back when I was a kid, T.G. Lee had their dairy, which is on uh, Bumby and um, Primrose. Primrose. Primrose, Primrose yep. and uh, is it Robinson and Livingston? I think, so. I I think, think it's so. between Robinson and Livingston. Is it still there? And they, they literally had cows. They had pasture with cows there, but I think now it's, it's a just park. the dairy. Yeah, I think the dairy is still there. It's it's a park um, in the back half of it, which is where I think the cows used to be. Yeah. The park. And then there was a mall now in the front half. It used to be Colonial Plaza. Yeah, it they was a now. big mall, and they, you know, took destroyed it and brought in um, smaller, you know, like where you can yeah. pull up to the stores instead of walking the mall. So because of the T.G. Lee Dairy there, that they've, in recent years, started calling this the Milk District. The Milk District. It just I, sounds I guess so cool that all you the live cities in the milk now district. have to have 
like villages or districts or so it's funny to us though because we just grew up you know yeah. this was downtown and, until 10 years ago i had no idea i grew up in the milk district the milk district so it's, it's real but it's cool that they've done these little and then like when we're in tampa there's an area over there that they call the warehouse district right. and it's literally because there's tons of warehouses yep. and yep. they've converted them to breweries or distilleries and stuff so it's the warehouse district yep. um and i i do love like this area they literally it's not big it's not a big area but they took this little small space and made it into a nice little mm -hmm. it was it, it's nice i really like mm -hmm. it I'd, I'd come back definitely they, they took just basically a <clears throat> rectangle block building mm -hmm. put some garage doors on either side and there the they have the glass panels so There's, you can see through them where we're at this is tons of parking and then behind it is even more parking right. so there's lots of parking mm -hmm. here so it's easy it's fun i i would absolutely come back so it was, it's kind of cool yeah it was neat yeah. I'll bring my own game. <laughs> There's a little, um, posh isn't the word. What's the right word? Hoity. A little hoity, maybe. But little. definitely uh, in today's realm of things. It is. I'm it's, trying to think of the right word. I, the right word's not coming to me, but. It is. It's, um, uh, I don't want to say, I don't even think of the right word either. Yeah. Like, it's just, you can tell that people live in the milk district right. that are here. Right. <laughs> But it was cool. I mean, it, I really did like it. It was it was a neat place. I thought it was clean. It was crisp. It was, um, they had lots of different food. I mean, that's different food choices from one spectrum to the other. So we just, I always go for chicken. Um, but it was, it was really good. All right. Y'all come check it out. A la carte. On to the next one. <laughs>